and today I'm going to talk about three ways that you can start a no-till garden from scratch. These are three of my favorite ways that I have used over the last several years and I get asked a lot on Instagram what the best method is so I'll kind of explain the pros and cons to each and um, hopefully help you guys get started. We moved to this property in 2019 and there was no existing garden plot. So I literally had just a grassy lawn to start and it's never been tilled and you can see how it looks today. When you're trying to decide which route to go with prepping your no-till garden bed, if you're starting from grass like I did, there's a couple things that you'll have to consider. One of the methods is going to be free, but require you have a lot of time. The second method is going to be expensive, but create your bed very quickly. And then the third method is potentially free, but it's gonna require a lot of manual labor. So depending on your resources and your urgency, that kind of helps you determine which route to go, but I'll explain all three. When using a no-till method to prep your garden space, you really have two primary goals. The first is to have the space be as, as weed-free as possible so that your plants aren't gonna have a bunch of competition. The second goal is to have loose soil to work with so that way your plants have a better environment to grow in. They're not fighting against compaction. So the first method that is completely free, but is really best to do if you have at least two months, ideally working on it the fall before your first planting season, is to just tarp the planting area. We did this with our big garden plot here. It was an alfalfa field and we put multiple tarps down on it in the fall before we planted in it and it completely killed off everything that was underneath it. So that way when it was time to plant, all we had to do was take the tarp back and it was good to go. I love the tarp method because it's basically hands-free. Once you lay the tarp down, you walk away and you don't have to do a lot of physical labor. The negative to the tarping method is that first, the tarps can be pretty expensive. If you don't have access to black plastic tarp, you don't wanna have a woven tarp. You don't wanna use the blue tarps, trust me. It has to be black and has to be plastic that water doesn't get through to completely kill what's underneath it. If you don't have access to those um, for free somewhere though, I was able to get a couple of them from a friend, but if you can't get them for free, they can be pretty expensive. If you look up silage tarps, they're a few hundred dollars each. So that's the negative of the tarps. The other negative of using silage tarps is that you will have a very weed-free environment. However, depending on what it the condition is of the soil, it might not be ideal planting situation. If your soil is super compact, killing off all of the weeds aren't, isn't going to change that. So you may over time still want to amend or mulch that area. The second method for preparing a no-till garden bed is the most expensive option, but it's gonna give you the quickest turnaround. And that is to just lasagna build up on top of the grass. So you can do this by laying down a thick layer of cardboard and then buying soil or compost and putting it right on top. You do wanna be careful where you source your soil from. A lot of people lately have had issues with herbicides or pesticide residue in their soil, which can be very damaging to the plants that you're putting into it. But if you have the financial ability to do it and you wanna have a quick way to plant, that is one route to go. The third way to build your garden plot without any expense of a tarp or buying soil is to do a method called double digging. So double digging is very labor intensive, but it's a way to get your soil grass free 
and also relatively loose so that your root systems can get through it very easily. So to double dig your soil, you're just gonna take a spade, step into where you've plotted out for your garden bed to go. You're gonna put the shovel down and just flip the sod upside down. So the grass that's on top is gonna go now whatever the depth of your spade is into the soil. And then you can kind of chop up that root ball to loosen up the soil. This is what I did for a lot of my beds our first year here, just because I didn't have a lot of money to invest in this space. And even to this day, I can tell that the beds I double dug on versus just smothered out all the grass are the ones that usually perform really well. So these are just three ways that I use to prep new beds for planting. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, or if you have different methods that you've used before that you wanna share with people, make sure to leave those as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.